Okay, so coach, first of all, congratulations on, on the amazing victory. Uh, tell me about the experience, um, first of all, from the kids' perspective and you know, what it means for athletes, but then you know, for yourself as someone who's envisioning you know, the program going to much higher heights. It was fantastic. We had uh, 22 kids travel with us to Sapan. Out of the 22, we had 10 first-timers, so all newbies, uh, eight second-timers, and the rest um, you know, schooled uh, on the trip. So it was phenomenal for the kids to travel, um, to the camaraderie between the team. It was fantastic. Uh, we had under 12, under 14, under 16 kids travel to Sapan, and it was absolutely amazing. Now, Camden Camacho, like one of our young tennis stars, he actually told me, um, last time I interviewed him right here actually, was he said, you know, I really feel like tennis is really starting to pick back up on Guam. He goes, you know, it kind of like, you know, like most sports do, it kind of uh, dipped a little bit, but he goes, more youth are getting involved. Some of the, you know, the older folks are getting, um, coming back into the sport. What would you say like about the caliber and the participation and the sense of community we have? Absolutely, well, this new tennis center here in the data, the, the Guam National Tennis Center is absolutely phenomenal. 11 courts, there's more people playing. We have the rugby system involved, which is the under, from four years old all the way up to 18. Um, on the junior national team now, we have uh, 31 participants on the team. So in, in every aspect, the sport is growing and it's always been great on Guam. I was here before, it was great when I was here and it's, going, it's great again. Now there is no better teacher, as they say, than experience. So, you know, just having the sense of, of traveling, you know, as, as teammates and camaraderie, as you said, but, but most importantly, like, like getting time on the court and playing against people that they're not familiar with. What does that mean to the development of these young athletes? I, it's absolutely number one thing for these athletes to do is to participate and play against other players. Uh, under 12 athletes in, in a very short space of time, uh, from being a little bit hesitant on the court to be, being able to, uh, with confidence, you know, save the score, serve out, serve in, playing, playing, rallying points, uh, and, and actually the, the friendships that we were made were absolutely amazing. To see them in a very short space of time, two or three days, jump up that scale, which is absolutely, it's, it's so exciting to see. And did the youth also, did they play in singles, doubles, and mixed doubles? So the under 12 is a team event, which is fantastic. They get to play uh, uh, 1v1 uh, singles, and then reverse singles, and then the doubles. So it was absolutely amazing. Our under 12 boys were undefeated. Our under 12 girls, first timers, actually won their first doubles match together, and they won several singles matches throughout the course of the week. Mm -hmm. Now, even though we're talking about tennis as from like maybe a chess perspective, as you know, as someone who's probably thinking like two or three moves ahead as the architect right. of this whole program, what do you think we can build on from the success that we had in Saipan? Uh, Guam's always had a great history in the N uh, NPRC, so uh, we've got a good history just to build with. But from this trip just alone, the next two or three years are going to be super exciting for me to see how these under 12 kids will go graduate to under 14, under 16. We've got some great kids uh, aging out, and we've got a great bunch of great crop of kids in the pipeline to, to fill those shoes. And how much fun was it, you know, just to just to see kids like enjoying a sport and, and for you to be able to pass down, you know, that passion of how fun the game of tennis is and, and hopefully they learn the right way too. Absolutely. Uh, the friendships, the, you know, the, the speaking to the tournament director, the thanking the tournament director and all the officials is the key number one, but also just how we, there's tons of photos, which I'm sure you'll share of us just sitting around having a great time uh, playing Leo, playing the ukulele, uh, Eddie playing the ukulele, singing. Uh, these kids love to sing. Uh, it could, could be on High School Musical Guam. I mean, it's absolutely phenomenal. Uh, but just sitting around enjoying, and the biggest part, which I tell the parents, is the meals. The, sharing the meal together is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, food is social currency for us here on island. And absolutely. Yeah. Fiesta. <laughs> there you go. Bre break out a couple plates of rice, and you, you got, that's, that's a teamwork dynamic right there. Absolutely. All right. Hey, Coach, well done. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank Appreciate you very much. It. Thank you.